You're listening to Speak, Lord. I'm Ryan Rogers. Well, it is a new year, and God has plans for us this year. There are meaningful things in our future, and these things are most meaningful when we keep Jesus right at the center of them. The thought I have to share today is one I hope will help us do that. You know, there are a lot of biblical miracles that have to do with water. So I want to review some of those and then ask, what's in the water? God does some amazing things with water right in the creation story. And then in Genesis 6, the first major act of judgment is a flood, a worldwide flood of water. And later when God's people are slaves in Egypt, he leads them out through water. He parts the water so they can be led to freedom. Not too long after that, they're thirsty and they can't find water. And God provides water, but it's bitter. So he works another miracle and makes the bitter water sweet. There's the story of the borrowed axe and the axe head comes out and lands in the water. And the miracle of God makes this axe head float on the top of the water. There's a three and a half year drought and God provides water for Elijah from a little brook. There's a story in 2 Kings where there's a city that doesn't have good water. They couldn't drink it and it wasn't helping the crops produce. And Elisha put salt in the water and God healed the water so that it was good and productive. In the next chapter, there's a story where the Moabites are coming to fight the people of Judah. They march across the desert for seven days with no water. So Elisha tells the people to dig trenches. And the next morning, God had filled the trenches with water. On top of the miracle of providing water, God causes the Moabites to think that the water is blood. They think the valley is full of blood, so they go down to plunder the Israelites, and God gives them into the hands of the Israelites. We know the story of Naaman, who was covered in leprosy, and he was healed by God by dipping in the waters of the Jordan River seven times. We see water as a symbol of death to self and resurrection in Christ through baptism. We have stories of Jesus standing up in a boat that is being tossed around on a sea in a storm and calming the water. Other times he didn't even need a boat. He just walked on the top of it. His first miracle was turning water to wine. And in the final chapter of the Bible, we have this beautiful image of the waters of the river of life. So many miracles and symbols that have to do with water. Well, what's in the water? Jesus is. It's not about the water in any of these. It's about the power of God. It wasn't about the axe head floating or the waters of the Jordan having some healing power. It was just water. But the power of God made that water do something really special. In John 4, Jesus said to the woman at the well, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water that I give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. A few chapters later in John 7, he says, On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart, will flow rivers of living water. So in this new year, we might not have rivers parting and leprosy being healed, but there's going to be some big things. There's going to be some big successes, some exciting things, some difficult things. And if we want to stay centered through all of that, we have to remember that it's not about those things. It's about Jesus. He might use water to do great things. He might use your money or your job or your influence or your talents to do some awesome things in this new year. But it's not about those things. It's about his power moving through those things. Let's not forget where the power comes from. Let's make this new year all about Jesus. How is God speaking to you? Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. You can find more of Speak, Lord at PastorRyanRogers.com or by searching for Palmer SDA Church wherever you get podcasts.